Shields are not known for being the highest damage weapons in Elden Ring. In fact, it's the exact opposite. They aren't really supposed to do any damage, which is exactly why I am going to try to make shields as overpowered as I can to the point where they one-shot bosses. My goal is to try to one-shot all 15 remembrances, and at the very end, I'll put shields on my one-shot tier list comparing to the other one-shot runs I've done so far. Let's go make shields overpowered, perhaps even more overpowered than the immortal abilities in today's video sponsor, Warhaven. They're a 12 vs 12 PvP medieval fantasy combat game, and even better, it's free to play. There's six different character classes, each making use of the dynamic combat system that is easy to use, but hard to master. You can work together with your teammates and find synergy to win more games, or let's be honest, you're probably just gonna run in there solo in an effort to 1 vs 12. And honestly, it might even work. Because of the immortal ability within this game, it's a sort of super or ultimate ability that turns your character into a supernatural god, and if you use it right, you might just be able to make that hero play that you want. So, make sure to click the link in the description to wishlist Warhaven on Steam and play for free during Early Access, which starts on September 20th at 6pm PDT. As with every one-shot run, there is a lot of stuff to gather at the beginning. We start by going into Shifa River, running all the way across to go up the other elevator that goes into the ravine in Kaelid, and that's where the starting weapon of the run is, the Spiked Palisade Shield. This is the highest damage great shield that is available without needing to kill any bosses, so this is going to work as our early game weapon until I can collect something better later. The downside about the Palisade Shield, though, is that it's a regular smithing stone weapon, so I have to spend a bunch of time running it around every corner of the map to pick up every available smithing stone until I can reach plus 19. Believe it or not, it is possible to get that many smithing stones without needing to kill a single boss. While I was gathering all of the stones, I also picked up a couple of useful items along the way like the Physic, Strength Tier, Dex Tier, Sleep Pot Recipe and Ingredients, the Warrior Jar Shard, Shield Crash, which is an absolutely insane Ash of War to use on any shield, you'll see why soon, and the Jellyfish Shield, which I'm actually so excited I get to use in this build. Most of the time, with the Jellyfish Shield, you aren't able to use it with other weapons' Ashes of War, because the Shield Ash of War in the left hand will override the right hand, but the one exception to this rule is other shields and torches. So I can put my Palisade Shield in my left hand and Jellyfish Shield in the right to get the buff from the Jellyfish and still use Shield Crash. After that, I killed Greyhold to get 40 strength and 14 dex, and now it was time to get some buffs. As a reminder, there's three buff categories, weapon, aura, and body. You can only stack one of each kind of buff. There's no weapon buffs for shields, although there is shield grease, which is technically a shield buff, but it doesn't increase damage. For the aura buff, I pick up Golden Vow from Limgrave. For the body buff, I set up Blood Boil Aromatic. And for the rest of these buffs, they're all considered unique, meaning that you can stack as many of them as you like. The Black Dumpling gives 10% damage for 60 seconds after Madness. The Physic with the Strength and Dex tier. And obviously, the Jellyfish Shield all contribute to extra damage. With all that stuff gathered, I am finally ready to fight my first minor boss. Now we, we get to learn if I need to rune farm. What a fucking voice, dude. <laughs> okay, we drink. We vow. Blood boil. Switch. Drink. Fury. Switch. Uh, this one's more resistant. I, I'm not sure that this is enough. Oh, they have 2,800 health, dude. <laughs> That was enough by two fucking damage. Holy sh**. So you remember all of those regular smithing stones that I had to spend a bunch of time gathering? Well, yeah, they kinda don't matter now since the Visage Shield is probably the most absurd shield that we'll be using for most of the game. To get it leveled up, I pick up the Somber 1 through 9, the hardest being the Somber 7, which requires this skip past the Godskin Noble in Volcano Manor. I pick up Flame Grant Me Strength from Kaelid since that applies to fire damage rather than just physical damage like Blood Boil, and I use that gear to completely blast this putrid avatar. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Love to see it. Thank you. Now at this point, I can see you saying, Bushy, that's not a one shot. It does multiple ticks of damage. And you're right. It's not one instance of damage, but it is one button input. And for the sake of this run, I'm considering a one shot to be one button input for every boss phase. Why? Because otherwise it would be literally impossible. And I think this is much more fun. Continuing with the setup, I pick up the fire scorpion charm and do patches cave to buy Margit shackle. And finally, I have all of the gear required to attempt my first tape required boss. Here we go. We might as well do that, I guess. Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength. Drink the blue. Switch over to this. Cast the thing. Switch over to this. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean that that was a that was a perfect execution phase one, and that's that's how close we got, and the damage was only gonna like that that DPS doesn't stay the same. As it, as it stands, I would need like twice, thanks sick. As it stands, I would need like twice the endurance to do one shot rather than one shot per phase. To our home, bathed in rays of gold. Am I doing Radon or Renala? Renala has like almost as much health as Radon, but she's in water. She's also like kind of jumpy is the issue. This is probably the easier second shard bear. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm leveling up endurance at this point. I. And we're gonna kill Renala anyway, so we're, we're gonna have respec access. Dude, hello? All right, Moongrum. All right. All right, that's, that's how that's supposed to go. Okay, so we drink. Okay, we cast Vow. Drink again. Foot. Flame grant me strength. Switch on over to this. Go smack the last child. Cast, switch, hook the single mother. Oh boy, that, that, that's not super promising. I was hoping for some higher damage there for sure. All right, let's go see. Dude, what is it with this? What is it with her? I mean, we, we can give it a shot with a heavy attunement. See if that that changes it up much. So we, we can get an extra 20% off of this. Easy peasy. And we're just going to see how much damage we're doing just to get an idea of whether or not we're on the right path here. Yeah, it ain't close enough. I need to do 4K. Kind of got to go blast Deathbird right quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. Nice. Just walk forward. There is the... I, I should just go get the Somber 10. I mean, that, that's just an obvious upgrade. Give me a thing. Okay, and then we get this to plus 10. Then beyond that, we level Endurance at this point, I guess. Because there's nothing else that makes sense to level. Okay, that's not nearly as much of an improvement as I thought it was going to be. I feel like a buff wore off or something. Wait, why is it doing less? What? <laughs> the buff must have worn off. All right, I mean, at, at, at the end of the day, like it, this flame spit just obviously isn't going to work here. We, we, we need to get the, the spiked palisade shield. All right, got to go figure out how to kill the falling star beast right quick. Close. <laughs> oh, fucking cooked, bro. So, plus 20 Palisade Shield. Plus the extra buffs that we got. Hope that it's enough. If it does 4K in the first phase, that means it's going to do 4K in the second phase. Oh, I don't think it's going to be enough. I uh, 3,500 is not going to one shot her in this phase. Dude, what the f Ranala? <laughs> How are you still f backing up when I'm constantly hitting you? Dude, what the f is this step back? Like, what? Why? 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 Maybe a hot fing take, but maybe Radon's easier. Because he does these long animations and I just. light him on fire. No, oh, what the f is this move, dude? Alright, time to hope. This isn't gonna work. Yeah. I need one more tick, dude. Commander standard. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we can we can give it a shot. I'm not sure commander standard is doable right now, but we can try. Okay. Turns out we didn't have enough time. So we'll get him to summon. Uh, that, that's going to be close, though. Hey, oil pot it is. Cool. I actually have an open pot. Dude, okay, a am I am I crazy? I was doing seven ticks before, wasn't I? <laughs> All right, that's nice. Okay, do this again. Switch to this, do this, drink here.
Regen the stain. I did not regen it enough. Okay, well, this is going to be a third talisman slot. And I also just cooked damn near 10k health. I, I think getting the charged attack talisman might be might be in the cards at this point. Godfrey's usually a bit of a wall on these runs. I'll go give him a try, but he, he's usually quite a problem to figure out. I'll probably have to kill Renala before I can kill him. Damn. Okay. Uh, I, let, I, I think the buffs are going to run out, but we'll try to bait the jump again. Yeah, buffs ran out. Well, we're, we're just going to see how much damage I can, how many ticks I can actually get out. Huh? Hold on, that fucking hits me, dude. Uh, you look like a problem, Gold Free. Okay, maybe uh maybe we consider like a sleep pot here for a second. We do a lot of damage though. Okay, that I, I I don't know how long the sleep stagger is, but holy sh that's a lot of damage. Ding. Bang. Alright, it may be scholar's armor man. It, 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 it's probably bait the jump. Oh, there's armament. Nice. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't ask me. Holy fucking guard boost, brother. Jeez. Is, yeah, I guess I got to do shield grease. All right. Damn, dude. It like it still just chunks the stam. I, I I wonder if it's easier to strafe that to the I mean I I don't think so. I'm pretty sure if he does that dash, I don't think he's missing. go that was pretty good i don't hate the idea of just getting an extra stam talisman at this point all right all right so stats do actually affect this that's obviously not useful uh, I could go try to get the charged attack talisman from Godafroy because that would be real useful. That would, that would add a whole bunch of damage. Uh, other than that, it's like Millicent's prosthesis, which also would be useful. Wasn't even close to optimal. Yeah, I guess I want to go do Millicent's quest line right now, huh? To get a proper setup for Shield Crush. Here you go.
Holy poise damage? Don't mind me. I am doing something entirely unrelated. No need to worry. Absolutely no need for concern. Hey, she almost gave me the f oh, bro. <laughs> okay. So that's a difference of like 60 damage. All right, let's go get the uh, wing sword insignia then. Oh, fuck, bro. shield uh all right let's go blast the shit out of renala see what happens blasted no why did i heal <laughs> chat I, I don't think this is gonna work boys back here bing 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 so this this opens up respecking but i'm not even sure i want to respec at this point i should wait until i hit a wall and i need levels to be allocated differently but for right now, we're just juicing endurance up to 45, right? Come on, please. Maybe oil pot. Oil pot might make it happen. That's not good. Because that made that made him uh go for the phase transition earlier there. Let's test the sleeping as well. Oil pot and sleep. Shackle. Oil pot. Sleep pot. How much sleep resistance does he have? So did I miss like a tick or something there? I could probably make this happen with more endurance, I think. Respect time? And this is gonna certainly give us at least one more tick. Okay, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna let the stam fully regen. Fuck. Okay, I was close. Okay, stam fully regens. I need commoner's garb that puts me at 38 faith which is good that's where we want to be right now because we haven't taken off godric's great rune yet but now we have to go get radon's great rune
Niall gives us access to the consecrated snowfield, so he's definitely a good boss to target next. The issue is, he's an absolute pain to kill. I really had to experiment around with ideas here. We started with a full damage setup in an effort to kill him before his summons or he could do any damage, but this weapon is just not fast enough for that. Even with the help of Kindred of Rot and Lord of Blood's Exultation, which are very strong talisman buffs that I don't use most of the time because of how annoying they are to set up, the next idea was using One-Eyed Shield to maybe give myself a chance to one-shot with the help of an oil pot, and it just really was not not very close at all. I tried just about everything I could to kill Nile in one button press, but the thing is, Nile is a two-phase fight, so technically by my own rules, I am allowed to kill him in two inputs, even though I really wanted to do it in just one. If you want to consider the run fake, this is the point where you go into the comments and say, invalid run, try again, and the rest of us will move on. The final build that I landed on was a sustained type of build with Ritual Sword instead of Red Feather so that I could have full health going in, Shield Grease to lower the amount of stamina consumed when I get hit, and two presses of L2 to get this Nile kill, which I'm actually very proud of. Nile is an incredibly hard boss to one-shot, and I think this shield had a pretty damn good showing. That'll do! At least I hope. Okay, we found it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's so awkward to get this shield crash to fully connect, but shield crash is the best thing that we have available to us. Okay. I mean, okay. This is taking us into the realm of like a four or five shot. Oh, hello. <laughs> Come on. Fucking stagger, dudes. Stagger, my. Where the f is my stagger? Okay. And I, I was hoping that would actually stagger him. He didn't like that plan. All right. Hope and fucking pray. Because that's all I got. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know. We can one shot the phase one. I think we can legitimately one shot the phase one. Phase two, I don't fucking know what's happening. <laughs> it's probably just gonna be a full on like actual fight. One shotting fire giant phase one is possible. And it doesn't take an absurd amount of leveling up. I need four endurance, five strength, four dexterity. That's what I need. For a total of, uh, 
13 levels. We get the feet, we get the talisman that gets us more runes, kill a couple bosses, and by a couple, I, I probably mean a lot, but... <laughs> you know, that's fine. What about duping remembrances? All right, let's see. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. <laughs> I thought that was going to grab me and I was not going to be happy. Since I need to get every remembrance on this run, I decided to kill bosses that would get me towards those remembrances while farming up runes for me to be able to fight the fire giant. Valiant Gargs is one of those fights, and most of the time they are a massive nuisance, but chat showed me one of the funniest strategies I think I've ever seen. You can hide from the first gargoyle and use Kukri's to walk him over behind a pillar so that you can one-shot him in private and use that pillar to hide from the second gargoyle so that you can also sneak up on him. Completely ridiculous strategy and I just had to share it. Yeah, let's fucking go, dude. I walked the dogs. Hey, right, cool. See you later. All right. All right. That's nice. Hello, poise monster. Oh, look at you. Not being a poise monster. Okay, so we do Redon for 40k. Right guard, not possible. Mo, not possible. Fire giant, not currently possible, but we'll get there soon. We can give Loretta a try, I guess. Chat showed me another completely ridiculous strat for Loretta where you can use Assassin's Gambit and a bow to sneak around in her arena. That way you can get the jump on her and hopefully be able to find a one shot. Normally, Loretta is a huge pain because of how mobile she is, but this strat really helps solve that problem. Okay, cool. Magic damage, bro. Okay, I missed a tick there. Come on. Okay, that's it. That's it right there. I just need to walk forward. I don't think I missed. There it is. That's the that's the desired stats for Fire Giant right there. Um, so I think it's gonna be pretty obvious whether or not Melania is gonna be reasonable to do, because if she gets staggered, like poise broken, not stance broken, when she gets hit by the shield, it's probably gonna be reasonable and if she doesn't it's probably gonna suck <laughs> so let's go find out yeah that's not good If I had a little bit more range so that she couldn't backstep like that, it, it would probably be fine. I mean, the, it, it's maybe going to be a little bit of a RNG farm, but I think that's the best we can hope for. 
Ow. I, I was trying to get her out of the water so I could do a little bit of extra damage. Yeah. Yeah. The the ticks aren't quite frequent enough to uh to keep her from doing hyper armor moves, so one shot definitely isn't there. We'll we'll eventually come back to her and see just how easy we can make it. Okay. Uh, so the good news is we got the stats for Fire Giant at this point. So we can continue down that path. Alright, there we go. Okay, now... For phase two, I am gonna sleep him. I'm gonna go to his left hand. I'm gonna light his shit up as much as I can. And I'm gonna try to kill him in like three hits. I know what you're looking at doesn't look like a one-shot and it obviously isn't not every weapon is going to be capable of one-shotting every boss and despite my best efforts this phase two just obviously was not going to get one shot i'm still really happy that i was able to one-shot phase one i really didn't think that was going to be possible going into this run but nonetheless fire giant is the first remembrance failure of the run let's continue to see just how many more bosses can be one-shot by this build and how many more will cause problems We one shot the phase one. It's a moral victory. And I guess we, we actually go get sort of Milos right quick. Okay. <laughs> We're now ready to go have some fun. And honestly, I, I might need this debuff for uh, Godskin Duo since they are resistant to fire. Let's think, what is our buffing routine? So we do this. All right, perfect. Crank this. Uh, go over here. I don't know how big the hitbox on this thing is. Okay, good. All right, now I go here. Nope. Here. Here. Oh, I probably could have kept it cooking. definitely wore off okay uh, I should have a little bit more time to actually do proper buffs here so I can do howl I can do rallying standard okay I can drink I can shriek. Perfect. I can drink this. Cast this. Okay, and then I can go here and do this. Nice. Very nice. 
They were pretty resistant to the fire damage, but got it done. I think Placidusax is not gonna be reasonable to one shot. Because th this uh, weapon art doesn't actually do like a crazy high amount of damage. And I don't think it's gonna be able to capitalize on as big of a window as you can get from Placidus X by using Crimson Whirl and um, Iron Jar. I should probably kill this dragon up here. See you later. Thanks for the Smith and Stone. Okay, Sword of Milos is not going to be necessary here. That's not going to be necessary. Those aren't going to be necessary. Uh, Shield Grease is probably going to be necessary. All right. <laughs> All right, bro. We take those. We take those. Gets the stagger off the rip too, dude. Don't jump. Please don't jump. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. First fucking try, dude. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, you can't trade with Malekith. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Oh no, it let him get his stagger back. Damn, okay. Nice. Very nice. Let's think. Right guard. Uh, Fortisex. Uh, Estelle after... Later. Moog also later. Melania also later. Placidisex. Um, Fortisex is probably something that we could do first. I'll go kill Gideon right quick though. Alright, we do this. And this. We do... Rallying standard. All right, perfect. We get in here. We do this. I'm not in range. We do this. Okay, we full heal. Drink this. This. Come here. <laughs> I, I'm assuming Horolu is going to be like really difficult. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure this fight's going to suck. I guess getting a little bit more mind could make sense because it's actually getting to the point where I have so much stamina that I'm actually running out of FP. Like, that's probably good enough. I think we're going to go set up Fortisax right now. Cause I, I know Horalu's gonna be fucking annoying, so I'm I'm gonna delay the inevitable. <laughs> Fuck. She's in water. Has to be boring flame breath then. Much easier. Pretty sure I didn't get the... What the fuck? I thought that was gonna be a problem. I, I don't even think the pot hit him. I had 50% more damage there. I should probably test Placidus X. Just to see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure one shot isn't going to be here. But. Uh, I also thought one shot wasn't going to be there on Fortis X. Who's dead? 642. 
Wow, I've tanked through that? That's crazy. I wonder if even with... Oh, yeah. Even with the Iron Jar and Crimson Whirl, I think it's still going to hit my stam bar. I switch on over to this. Okay, and then account for 50% extra damage and hopefully get a headshot. I mean, that it wasn't a headshot, but... That, that would need to be one hell of a headshot damage multiplier to, to get anywhere close. So, yeah. Definitely not worth pursuing that right now. This isn't, this isn't, uh... The Citus X one-shot definitely isn't on the table with this build. I mean, I, I like how this setup looks. We'll, we'll, we'll just go see what it looks like. We'll go take a quick peek. I mean, maybe there's a sleep pod idea. Maybe. Oh! Hey, hold on, bro. Okay, now how the hell do I do Horalu? <laughs> Because I, I need to regen the stam. And then I need him to do something that I can punish. Damn. I mean, there's definitely a three shot. throwing animation is just long man when am i okay i that so that didn't even get the sleep on him because the third pot didn't really connect very well no dude i was out of stam so i got a couple ideas First one and the most promising one, I think, is just absolutely blast up the damage and hope that works. <laughs> Hold on, can I go get the... Does the golden sewing needle work in place of the regular sewing needle to lower my, my status resistance by a little bit? All right, cool. So this is what we wanted. We It lowers are yeah perfect lowers all of our resistances which is cool okay we need one of those we need one of those okay we need one of those need one of those oh hold on need one of those all right this is gonna be it's gonna be quite the uh experience brother all right, so we're going to do this. Drink. Shard. Howl. All right, excellent. Rallying standard. Okay, switch to that, switch to that. Apply the... No, I guess this is fucking stupid. All right, never mind. That, that doesn't make sense. Sapuku. Okay, switch to this. Oh, fuck. Okay, come on, get get out of there. We go back to this. Bing. 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 Alright. Uh apply this. Alright, I think we're ready. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so we spawn in, throw the oil pot. 1500? Did the oil pot fucking mit? Oh, what? That looks closer to right. Now, without the without the shield grease, it's definitely a bit of an issue. But 7k and four ticks. Okay, she did expire. Well, that's interesting. I didn't even consider the idea of a stance break. that move doesn't have hyper armor you're telling me that move doesn't have hyper armor brother for the sake of completeness i wanted to give a try to every remembrance boss even the ones that are definitely not possible right guard has 90,000 health and 80 percent fire resistance of course he's not possible and he was never gonna be possible you can see my best attempt on right guard here obviously he did not get one shot Placidus Axe is usually actually possible on these kinds of runs because of the Iron Jar Aromatic and Crimson World Bubble Tier combo that makes the player entirely immune to the lightning strikes at the beginning of the fight, giving a massive damage window. The issue on this run, though, is that the lightning still hits my stamina bar when I'm using the shield, even if I'm not taking damage. If that wasn't the case, Placidus Axe would probably be possible, but no, he is a also a failure on this run. Melania. As we saw a little bit earlier, the damage ticks from the shield are spread out just a little too much. The Frenzied Flame Run was able to one-shot Melania because it hit her more often, but this shield just doesn't hit often enough, so Melania is also not a one-shot on this run. Estelle. You wouldn't think he would actually be super difficult to one-shot, but bam. He just moves around a lot. I got very close, and if you want to consider him a two-phase boss, then yeah, this would actually be a success. But for my purposes, I consider a phase transition to be a unique move that changes the move set. And since Estelle repeats his phase transition move, for the purposes of this run, I consider Estelle a one-phase boss, and therefore a failure to one-shot as well. Moog, just like Rykard, has 80% fire resistance. I really didn't need to test this boss to know whether or not this was going to work, but obviously it did not. So far, I'm at 8 of 14 remembrances successfully completed. Can I make that 9 with Elden Beast? I don't know, but first, I'm going to mess around with some awful shields and give them their time in the sun to get some one-shots in. The Rickety Shield and the Jellyfish Shield deserve to one-shot at least one boss during this run. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, how much health does this guy have? I thought this dude had like 800. What the hell? Oh, f I didn't set up. Okay, it's fine. We, we just hot swap on over to this. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No way this causes any problems. I do not foresee any issues. And if this, if this misses by 10%, I'm going to be so fucking unhappy. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> That's how you demolish the, the strongest boss in the game. You know, the, uh, the jellyfish shield. 
hasn't been getting the love that it deserves. It's It's been relegated to the sidelines this entire run. And that's not fair. He deserves his time in the sun. All right, here we go. All right, we, we must thoroughly prepare. Thoroughly prepare for the hardest fight of the run. All right, we cast this. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, we drink there. We drink, or we, we pop that. Sh go here, pop this. Sh switch on over. Full blue, why? Because I can. Surprise! Surprise! He yeah! <laughs> Right. Okay, okay, okay. That's uh, that's enough messing around. Time to go figure out what the hell to do with the final boss. All right, I I expect Radagon to not be a huge issue. I expect Elden Beast to be a colossal. Bi um, I hope he doesn't spell parry this because that would be an issue. All right, gonna be a bigger problem than I thought. I, I thought Radagon would be pretty trivial. Not gonna lie. All right, maybe we, maybe we give a uh, one-eyed shield a shot. See what happens. Okay. It's a lot of damage, but it's not enough. Not enough damage. Well. Yeah, maybe it's there if I if I stance break him. I, I don't know how much poise he has. Uh, that's kind of the only frontier to push here, though. There, there's, like, actually no other ideas. <laughs> if that didn't get the stance break, I mean, I, I imagine we're probably, like, one tick off there or something. I, I guess it's not I guess a, a one shot isn't there then he doesn't stagger in time if you go for high damage you sacrifice the endurance that enables you to get enough hits that would actually kill him and if you go for enough endurance you sacrifice damage to the point where you don't have enough damage to hit him enough times oh I didn't try grease It is not there. No. Damn. All right. I mean, I, I guess we got a two-shot Radagon. If if Radagon is this unoptimal, Elden Beast is gonna be worse. Okay, we let him teleport. Okay. I guess we reapply that. Drink, I guess. Our goal is to get all the way behind him. And I'm, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> it's not much. I, I guess we probably do like shield crash in this phase two, rather than mess with this fire. Yeah. I'm sure I could technically do it in less shots if I constantly like re-upped buffs and this would probably be like a, a 10 shot versus what it's going to be like a 20 shot but I, I think suffice to say 
uh, we're just not one shotting. I I think that's us. I missed. Okay, I missed. I think that's a sufficient explanation. We certainly don't break the game on Radagon and Elden Beast. Eight out of 15 Remembrance bosses one shot. That's way better than I would have expected from a weapon class designed to prevent damage rather than deal it. Compared to the Stone Digging Sorcery run, which also got eight Remembrance boss one shots, it's about the same. But they're both behind the Frenzy run, which was able to get 11, including Melania. Speaking of Melania, you should watch this video where I made my character have Scarlet Rot 100% of the time, and I couldn't use flasks to heal, and I tried to beat the game like that. 